Hi everyone, Alan from Newlands Nursery and this is today's five minute Friday and every now and again we do something a little bit different and this one isn't really showing you something to do in the garden, I suppose it is in some ways, it's a lot to do with how to tell whether something is ready to pick and as so many of you will know we've been specialising in chilies for over 10 years now um, and Experience tells you when to pick chilies, but that doesn't really help if you're a new chili grower. So this plant here is a purple jalapeno, one of uh, certainly my dad's favorite chili, and one of my favorites as well. I love the jalapeno type chili, and it can be really, really tricky to know when this is ripe. So this five minute Friday is it's gonna be quicker than five minutes for you. It's gonna be how to tell whether your chili is ripe and the truth about it is it's very very hard to tell visually you're gonna have to try the chili now if you've grown super super hot chilies um, beware they can be really really hot and if you're new to growing chilies or new to trying chilies it really can take you back how hot some chilies can be so be very very cautious but what we do purple jalapeno as the name suggests is going to ripen to this lovely dark black purple colour. So that gives you a clue straight away. If you're growing a, a chili like Etna, for example, we know that that will fruit to red. Or a standard jalapeno, which does eventually go red, generally we pick green. So the colour gives you an element of an idea. If you've grown the plant from seed, you might have a seed packet of, uh, might have a picture of the finished fruit on it, or you can obviously Google your variety as well. But when you think the chili is ripe, so this one's purple, the best way to tell is whether it's, is to try it basically. What we're looking for is, so this is the hotter part of the chili, this is the milder part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off the edge, just the very, very tip of the plant, of the plant, of the fruit, okay? Just gonna cut that off and we're gonna try it. And what we're looking for is the fruit not to be bitter, and to have some heat to it. Now it doesn't mean it's not gonna get hotter as it gets more ripe, um, but you don't want it to be bitter and then you can pick it. Now chilies are great because you can pick them unripe and they have that very different uh, flavor about them, almost a fresh, almost grassy type flavor to them. And then they get more uh, deeper flavors as they ripen. But we just wanna know whether this is ripe. So if you're brave, just eat that bit. If you know you've got a super hot thing, chili, just literally, just put it on the tip of your tongue. So I'd be cautious with it, always be cautious. I know there's loads of videos out there of people eating really hot chilies, but the reality is that soon gets old. So just literally put the tip on your, on your tongue. If you can't get any heat and it's still a bit bitter, then it's not ripe. If like this one, it's a tiny bit of heat to it, it's not the hottest chili in the world, so a tiny bit of heat to it, and it's not bitter. You can obviously eat it just to check. So eat that, it's got a lovely fresh flavor. There's a little bit of heat coming through, but there's no bitterness. We know that this chili is ripe, and then we look around the plant and think, well, that's about the same size and the same color. So I pick the ones off that are like that. The ones that are smaller and not the same color, I leave to ripen. Over time, your experience will tell you that is ripe. We don't try every chili when we pick them. We just know that variety is ripe, so we pick them off. So if you've got any questions at all, I hope that explains it well. It's quite a hard thing to explain in a video, to be honest, because how do I put across whether it's bitter or got heat? But I hope that explains how to pick your chili when it's ripe. Any questions at all, get in contact. We're here to help. See you soon.